Oh my God. It's actually a little heavier than what I thought it would have been. Do we get to keep it? Oh my God, this is great. Oh my. Kids digital camera. Hi, I'm Eric O'Connell and I'm an associate professor and I've been here since 2015. Wow. All right. So is there a switch? <laughs> Video resolution 1080p, boom, better than you guys probably. I think the hardest part for me is I'm the type that I like to read all about the camera before I use them, and that's not gonna be the case today. So you guys already know how to use this thing? Nope. Um, I can't figure out how to turn it on. My name is Amy Horn, and I am a senior lecturer in the School of Communication. I teach photography full time. Oh, stickers. <laughs> stickers. So, how did the shoot go? <laughs> 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 These guys were putting me on the whole time. They knew how to work this and they wouldn't let us let us into the secret. There we go. Oh shoot, just a minute. I accidentally hit the power button. <laughs> just just <Right>. a moment. <laughs> wow, this thing isn't gonna handle flare in any way, shape, or form, is it? I'm just stuck in the menu. Or I mean I'm stuck in playback. Wow, even with this it totally blows everything out. Camera turned off again, just a minute. <laughs> um, I kept pressing the on and off button all the time. I don't know what it replicates on my camera, but my thumb kept hitting it, so I was turning it off. And then several times kept changing the white balance and didn't realize till I got home that I had several blue pictures. And... So this first image, uh, I did try to converse with her quite a bit, get her to chat back so it wasn't just stiff, stiff images of her posing. Actually, let's go ahead and bend your elbows a little bit more and hold the the hat up closer to you like that. There we go. And then if we can get the hair, I know it'll be hard. There we go. Oh my gosh. Is, there's no white balance adjustment. <laughs> Obviously I would have loved to have had a shallower depth of field like I could have done with my camera. I mean look, yours looks beautiful. <laughs> at a distance. Definitely at a distance. I mean at the resolution of a television. <laughs> you're all right. I tried to do like reverse, reverse vignette. Vignette, like kind of. I had thought about that, but I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't sure it worked. So, what was the background there? Uh, that. Oh, the diffuser. The diffuser. Oh, okay, perfect. Sierra, come over here, and what I want you to do, you can let go. Is just hold this right behind him like that. Oh, okay. Look off towards them. Okay. There you go. Ooh, it's shot. Let's try gold. There we go. Look off towards them. Wow, the color balance on this camera just keeps doing whatever it wants. You can't control it. Just try to get it a little higher, Sierra. Right there, perfect. Looking off towards them, awesome. No, I like, I, it, this seems sharper than some of them. What I realized immediately that was that this didn't handle the transition between bright sun and shadow. Mm -hmm. And that bummed me out because I, that's what I wanted. Yeah. And, and so I went with, I started didn't know what to do, so I started working with this diffuser and then moved on from there. Did and you end up chimping quite a bit, looking at your shots after you shot them? What is chimping? Look at the, looking at the back of the camera to see how it looks. Play, uh, playback? No. No. Chimping is because ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know so that? Funny. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I didn't look. Then how did you know going. it didn't transition well? well I did, I'd shoot oh, okay. you too, and then I'd look. And then, okay. Well, initially I did, and then I thought, then I realized, okay, it doesn't do that. Yeah, of course, initially yeah. I did, just to see what's going on with the camera. Yeah. That's my favorite picture. Yeah, I really like that one too. Um, when I'd asked her if she does straight faces, it took a, a, you know, a couple seconds to get her into the right moment, but yeah, I think this one turned out really good. We so kind of close your lips, and then like just slightly exhale a little bit of breath so it'll slightly open your lips a little okay. bit. Okay. So it's gonna make me laugh as these three. <laughs> I just realized that just ignore them. 
you rolled your eyes, and I'm not the only person you roll your eyes to. So <laughs> oh, yeah. no. That's a yeah. thing they do to parents, too. Okay, there we go. Okay, now just a nice little, nice little exhale. I'm going to laugh if I try to react like that. I don't be out okay. my Very nice. All right, let's change locations the right moment, but yeah, I think this one turned out really good. We had a few others, but it was windy enough that day with the clouds coming in that several times I had big strands of hair in front of her face. And Were you using reflectors on these? I was not. Mm -hmm. You were totally in the open shade. Yeah, yeah, and it's many times, like I said, there was a lot of heavy clouds, so there wasn't, it didn't seem like there was much to draw from with the That's my reflector. favorite picture because of her look, her pose, mm -hmm. and the steps, for me, gives this conceptual idea of going on to infinity or up to something better. Yeah, well thank you. I imagined, okay, coming to this, I almost wish there was dirt somewhere because I wanted tons of dirt thrown up with backlight to create this kind of... Like confetti-ish? Well, not no. confetti, but more like fog and oh, kind yeah. of just the haze in the air <laughs> to give it atmosphere. Uh -huh. They're doing construction across from my house. And it's a mess, but with the backlight, it's like, wow, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And I wanted that to happen, but we only had leaves, but the camera doesn't really catch it. We can't tell right. what's going on. You see a few flying there, but not yeah. many. Just do this. Okay, make sure your arms are straight. Straight, not bent. Straight. Not bent. Okay. And, and face that way a little bit. Right there. And just do, look, all you have to do is this, is just go. Okay. Right? You don't even have to make sound. Yeah. But it, just tighten your muscles up. Hold on, I gotta let the camera, I gotta fake the camera out. Okay, get into it. You can come in closer. Mm-hmm. More. A uh, little bit out. A little bit out. A little bit out, sorry, I didn't realize your hands were going to have to stick out too. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, toss the leaves. It would even make sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, huh? And these I really wish would have come out in color because I liked the fall leaves in the background. And so I just stood up on the picnic table to get some of these. And this was one of her natural poses. Yeah, well, it was, a, it was a great experience. I mean, I learned a lot about limitations and they gave us something to think about with our students and how Com to create limitations in the classroom. Well, completely. And, you know, because you're such a good photographer, you were worried because you're not necessarily a portrait photographer. That's right, and yours are, intimidated. And yours are fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you. So it was awesome. This I was fun, no, no and I'm really grateful to these guys for inviting us and yeah. letting us do this. We'll have to come up with some other challenge in another month that we can challenge ourselves and, and bring that back to share with our students yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm thankful for this challenge because we can take this into the classroom in, a, in different ways that will be really helpful for the students. Definitely. Yeah. All right, All right until next time. Later. <laughs>